On these problems, we're asked to solve the equation. When we solve an equation, we're trying to find the value of x that makes this particular equation true. And we do that by trying to get x by itself. And we do that by applying all of our rules about equations. And our number one rule about equation is whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do the exact thing to the other side. So in this case, our goal is to get the 3x by itself. And so to do that, we're going to subtract 7. And if we subtract 7, that gets us 3x equals, because 7 minus 7 is 0, so we no longer have anything but 3x on that left side. And then 13 minus 7 is just 6. Now when you solve, this is an easy solve. Just divide both sides by 3, and you find out that x equals 2. And that's your answer. Now one of the great things about equations is you can always check your answer. So if I plug in 2 here, I would have 3 times 2 plus 7 equals 13. Well, is that true? Yes. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 7 does equal 13. Okay, on number 2, um, it's a similar problem to solve the equation. We need to get 4x by itself, but actually we need to get a negative 4x, because using our plus a minus, or plus a negative, it's actually 9 plus a negative 4x. It's always a helpful to do that to start. But this right here is a positive 9, and I need to get rid of it. So I get rid of it by doing the opposite, which is subtracting 9. So if I subtract 9 from both sides, this cancels. I'm left with a negative 4x on the left side. Be real careful that you get that negative there. And then that equals, well, negative 9 minus 9 is just negative 18. To solve it, you divide both sides by negative 4. You get x equals a negative 18 over 4. Well, a negative over a negative is a positive. 18 over 4 simplifies to 9 over 2. And that is your answer. Could be 4.5 or 4.5, but 9 over 2 is your answer. And you could go through um, and, and, and check, and you'd find out that if you plug in x, you get uh, a true equation.